Hey, it's Rick here, and today what I'm gonna show you how to do is a relatively simple task. It's taking a hard drive out of a MacBook or a MacBook Pro. I've got a MacBook, but it's really a Pro. Uh, it's before they rebranded the unibody aluminum MacBooks as a MacBook Pro. My version actually has a uh, tab that allows you to access the hard drive and the battery, uh, but the new versions, it's just you know, all screwed on so you unscrew it and have access to it as well. But I'm gonna show you how to do this today. Um, I've got a Kingston SSD now 128 gigabyte hard drive. And then I picked up from Home Depot in my area, 23 piece precision screwdriver set for 498. And it gives me what I need. You need small screwdrivers uh, as well as a Torx, that's T-O-R-X, T6 size uh, to actually take um, the uh, mounting screws off of the hard drive. So I'm gonna film it as we go and uh, let's get started. Okay, so as I've mentioned, my MacBook is unibody, but it actually has this uh, latch that would remove the bottom portion here. So if you've got a MacBook that doesn't have that, it's one of the newer ones, and you've just got screws all the way around, you're gonna need to use your screwdriver with a small tip to actually take those screws out and get the back off. But if you've got one like mine, it's really easy. You just press the latch like that, lift up. This is gonna come off. I'll set that aside. And then you've got easy access to both the battery and also the hard drive. So let's take the battery out first. You've got this tab, you simply pull up on it. And I'm gonna set that aside. And then for the hard drive, let me go ahead and zoom in on this if I can for you guys. And you're going to see that right there is a screw. We wanna take that out first because there is a, uh, a small, like a, a bracket there. And so I'll take that out and then pull up on the tab. You'll see that this comes out as well as, as, well as the bracket as I stumble with that. All right, and then the next thing we wanna do is right here we've got the cable and you're just gonna give it a tug and the cable comes right out. All right, so simple enough. We're gonna apply this little adhesive uh, sticky to the new drive, but as you can see, we've got screws here and here, here and here, and that's where you're gonna need your Torx T6 screwdriver. And to give you a close up look of, of those, you can see that it's kind of like diamond shaped in a way. So let's go ahead and take those out. So as I've mentioned, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take this little adhesive strip, a little bit careful when you pull that off, but there should be enough adhesive left on it that you can apply it to your new drive here. So you're just gonna put it right on there. And that way you can actually uh, lift that thing out next time you need to. Okay, so I've got all my mounting uh, screws back in here in the hard drive, and at this point, I'm ready to connect the cable. So that's what I'm gonna do at this point. Just simply push that cable right in. And then now what we're gonna do is seat the uh, mounting screws in place. Just pops right in there. And don't forget, you need to put this uh, bracket back on. So line that up, and we'll screw that in. All right, and then finally, of course, we don't want to forget the battery. So the battery's gonna go right in place here. Oops. There we go. And then we'll pop this back on, my cover. Again, if you've got the uh, newer MacBook, all you're gonna do is you're gonna put the entire back back on. And when you do, uh, you'll just need to go around the entire device and screw it in. There you go. So that's all back and put together. So at this point, I'm going to do a fresh install of my OS, and I will come back after that is completed to show you uh, what it looks like when it's all done. So there you have it. It's a very easy replacement uh, to do on a MacBook or a MacBook Pro. A little bit easier uh, just from the sheer fact that you don't have as many screws to undo on this particular version that I've got. But if you've got the newer, it's not a problem. You just have a few extra screw, uh, screws to undo. 
But as you can see, a very, very easy process to do and you do get a decent performance gain. So I'm hitting power here and you'll kind of see how long it takes for us to boot up. So I have noticed that it is slightly lighter uh, and also uh, it seems to run a little bit cooler and definitely the speed is much faster not only in boot up but also in opening applications which i'll show you in just a moment here so as ssd uh, prices continue to drop um, definitely worthwhile so you can see how fast that was and if we go to any of these applications safari you get basically one bump and it's open same thing goes with itunes uh, you know there's one and it's open. Everything is very, very fast, uh, and that goes for pretty much everything. So I highly recommend it. It's a very easy upgrade to do. Uh, I will continue to answer questions on it if you have them for me, so just leave a comment, and uh, I would recommend that you guys check it out. Also in shutdown, it's just as fast, so if we go to shutdown, and well, actually before I do that, let me show you this, sleep. So if you close it, and then you open it up again here, waking it up from sleep, it's very, very fast. So, and then as I mentioned, shutting it down is really not an issue at all. It shut down equally as fast here. So there you have it. If you have questions, please let me know.